Well, here we are on the front line of a war that I've been having with these trees. Mainly this pine tree behind me. You can see these roots sticking up. And the reason these roots ain't got no bark on the top is through the years I have been damaging blades and tearing up reels. And now I'm gonna do something about it. I guess if I've been doing it for years, I should have done something about it already. But I found something that's different than anything I've ever seen used for this type of stuff. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But this pine tree has got roots here, running all from it, over there, out in the yard, sometimes 20 foot away from the tree. And then the magnolia. The magnolia tree is the Mississippi state tree. I live in Mississippi, here in South Mississippi. And if it wasn't for my wife and the fact that it's the state tree, I would have already cut it down. But I have been fighting roots on these trees and hitting it with my blades or going around it or having to weed eat around them and I'm sick of it and I'm tired of it. You might also be thinking, why are you doing that? That's gonna damage the tree. Well, here's my philosophy on that. This tree has thousands of roots. I have one yard. Now, if I had thousands of yards and that tree only had one root, I wouldn't do nothing to it. See, the odds are in my favor. So the roots gotta go. And not only that, this is a grass channel, not a tree channel. I don't mow trees, I mow grass. So, let me show you what we're gonna be using. All right, so for my secret weapon on roots, or surface roots like these behind me, I found this. This is a, a disc made by Dewalt. Uh, and what this is normally used for is shaping and contouring block and brick. Like if they have an area where the block doesn't need an edge on it, that it needs to be kind of rounded off, they just take this and round off the edges on it or round off the edges on the brick or whatever. And I saw it and I said, man, that would be good for roots. I mean, it's metal, metal stronger than wood. So I tried it and it did work. That's why it's kind of scratched up now is because I obviously I'm gonna use it before I tell you about it. But uh, yeah, this thing keeps it up really good. So. Let's get this thing fired up. I'm going to show you what it does to these roots. yesterday my wife had to get her nails done so that now that all the important stuff is out of the way well uh we got to get these shavings up these wood shavings now if, if you don't have an outlet mower like this with a scarifier cartridge you can just use the a regular rotary mower to uh to bag up all these wood shavings but today i'm going to be using the outlet We've already taken the real cartridge out and put in our Scarifier cartridge, but today we'll be using it as somewhat of a turf rake to just rake up all this stuff and, and get it into the leaf catcher here. So, we'll go ahead and fire it up and let's get all these wood shavings up. 
see the the magnolia root that was I guarantee you it was every bit of two inches above the ground took it right down to ground level it's right here that were sticking up took those down to ground level and then you got these pine roots which was the main thorn in my side and these things are cut down to ground level now that blade it just chews them up I took the scarifier and got up all the big chunks. I took my blower and blew all the saw dust away so you can see where they were now. And this one, I mean, it was just, it was a headache mowing around these things. And But not anymore. I kind of took, took them down a little bit below ground level. That way, whenever I do a top dressing, I can, uh, fill those in well there you go quick easy way to get rid of surface roots in your yard especially if you're tired of mowing around them I uh, I found that disc at a salvage uh, supply store you could probably find it at any hardware store uh, just scroll back in the video and take a screenshot of the, uh, the little disc that I showed you or I made look it up and try to put a link down below where you could buy one. But like I said, I'll come back over this and I'll be doing some top dressing on my entire yard. So eventually this is gonna be a couple of inches deeper than it is right now. And people are like, well, how are you gonna get grass to grow there? Well, when I put dirt over it, there will be grass there. I mean, there's grass in people's yards everywhere and there's roots right under the surface and they never even know it. Grass will find a way. So if you're looking for a way to make people have yard envy in your neighborhood or little tricks like this hit that subscribe button watch for updates please give me a thumbs up and make a comment down below i appreciate y'all watching and we'll see y'all in the next one look at all that jump all right so here i have a grinder it's a makita grinder Yeah, here's a grinder, and my neighbors are having a family reunion using an impact, and the dogs hate everybody that's there, so they're barking too. Perfect. It'd be great if someone could just like land a helicopter over there right now. That'd be great. Oh no, they crank up the floor. Awesome. <laughs>